My name is Nat Reeves and I love J. Ross TV. What's up YouTube? This is J. Ross TV on the inside of Jazz at the Bistro. Got my boy Nate Reeves in the house. What's up boy? With, with, uh, who you hitting with Stanley Jordan tonight, right? Yeah, with Stanley and with Kim with Denard. All right, well tell us what you, what's going on up in uh, Hartford in your career. Now, Hartford has been very, very good to me. I'm uh, teaching full time at the Jack and Clean Institute at the University of Hartford. And I'm um, forming in New York City. Speak it up. In New York City, uh, with Curtis Fuller next week. Oh yeah. I've been working with Farrell Sanders. And, uh, things are going well. But you had a long story career, and everything is bumping for you. Uh, uh, just give us some insight on like young guys coming up, especially like guys you're teaching now. And um, has the mentality changed from like when you were younger coming up to now that you are a professional? Well, it's different now because when I was young coming up, we, I had a lot of band leaders to go here. Freddie Hubbard, Jack McLean, my mentor, who took me on his wing at a very young age. And I'm um, Jack. And the young players now, they, they don't have as many band leaders of that caliber like we had to go out and listen to it. Try to become members of that band, and around them. but they have a lot of good resources. We have YouTube, and we got all the videos, and all the literature, and the universities have music in, in, the, in their schools now. But do it seem like the mentality has changed any to you um, as far as musicianship, professionalism? And well, I think the musicians are pretty much the same, but we, we had we were mentored by greats, so our attitudes were a little different. We weren't so, uh, maybe, I wouldn't say aggressive, but we had to be careful with how we act, act right. and how we approach the music. And, we had different styles that we had to try to learn. Now everybody's after it, the same things. So who were some of your heroes growing up? My heroes. My grandfather was my biggest hero. Oh yeah, what's his name? His name is Russell Jackson. Oh yeah. He's my hero. He played the banjo, the mandolin, and harmonica. Jackie McLean's my hero. Mark Carter's my hero. Oh yeah. Ray Brown, Paul Chambers, Sam Jones. <laughs> my parents, my heroes. Right. Everybody's my hero. I love life. I'm happy right now. I'm oh yeah. Right now. So being on the road, uh, how do, how does that affect family life? Uh, the road is always affects family life, but it's, it's part of uh, my career and my way of making money. Okay. And uh, separation sometimes is a good thing because you get back together. Okay, now, oh, sorry about that, but playing with somebody like Stanley Jordan, seems like his brain is 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 multitasking all the time. As a bass player, uh, what is your job? Not to step on toes, or how do you approach I just, something I just like that? Listen to Stanley and try to find my place within his, his concept and his music. So you had a freedom to grow and move in it. You have a lot of freedom, you know, with guitar trio format. There's a lot of freedom, and he's a very <laughs> wonderful person and a lot of fun. All right. Well, it's Kenny Lee. All right, wait. The short interview, y'all on YouTube. It's Jay Ross with Jay Ross TV. Jay with Ross. <laughs> what that reads, baseman extraordinary. All right, YouTube, we out. See you.